What's going on YouTube? Sam Man back with another Marvel Legends figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Infinite Series Target exclusive 3-pack. Miss Marvel on the left, Captain America in the middle, and Radioactive Man on the right. So this is a collector set that, um, again, is a Target exclusive. You can only find a Target unless you go online and probably pay a few more dollars. But um, I happened to see this at Target. There was a lot of them in stock. Same goes with the Star Wars exclusive set, which I'll be doing a review of as well. But the packaging is pretty nice. You got, you know, your standard kind of like Marvel Legends um, design at the bottom. And then it says Miss Marvel, Captain America, Radioactive Man. You got all three figures shown in the window. Bottom right, there's Hasbro, ages four and up. The top does read Collector's Edition. Let me zoom out so you can take a look at that. And then there's an open window up top as well. You look on the back, it shows you each figure and a little bit of like a, kind of a little bit of a bio. So if you want to read that, you can feel free and read um, Miss Marvel's bio. There's Cap, and then there's um, Radioactive Man. So let me see, let me zoom in a little bit better so you guys can see that. And then here's uh, an image of Captain America because it comes with the interchangeable head, which is pretty cool. You know, in case you guys missed out on all the other Captain America figures that so we've gotten a lot of them already. At the bottom here, there's uh, one at the bottom. There's nothing really there. On the side, you get really cool artwork of Miss Marvel, Radioactive Man, and um, Captain America. Same thing on this side right here. Same exact images. So that is the packaging on this uh, set. What we're going to do is open this up and take a closer look at the figures. Stay tuned. What I'm going to do now, guys, is show you guys a 360 look at each figure so you guys can take a look at them. So go ahead and take that out. So the first one is Captain America. He does come with the interchangeable head, but we'll get into that in a second. I believe this one is pretty much just a repaint. I think some of the paint might be a little different from the first version Captain America we've gotten like this. So there's Cap. Here's Miss Marvel. Little 360 look at her. Actually, a pretty nice looking figure right here. So there she goes. You know, I don't know if this is the first Miss Marvel figure we've gotten. Uh, let me know in the, in the comments below. The, so many Marvel Legend figures, I honestly forgot. But um, there's a quick little look at Miss Marvel. Lastly, is Radioactive Man. Love these translucent figures. So here's a quick little 360 look at him. Um, I believe it's a. Uh, so uses some of the some different parts from other figures obviously and you know Hasbro does that with their legends and with with a lot of their figures I guess but um I think that the head sculpts from Drax but there's a quick little look now we're going to take a look at each figure all right so first up we're going to look at is Captain America again I believe this is just a repaint from the um because uh, we've gotten I don't know we've gotten a lot of caps like this so pretty sure this is just going to be a repaint but you look closely right here there is the head sculpt and uh, on this one, I don't remember if the previous version of this guy, if we can, if you could see the the eyebrows, because on this guy you can actually see the eyebrows. It really stands out. I mean, you can totally make out, you know, the blonde eyebrows there. And then the suit. The, honestly, the paint looks a little bit different on this guy as well. So it could be pretty much a just a different paint sculpt. He's got the uh, or paint scheme. He's got the shield right here, which is this, you know, the usual shield that we're used to nowadays it's got the little clip and it's got the peg in the back which you can peg right here in the back of um his uh the back right here he's got a hole even in the in the straps that goes right through to the back and if you really wanted to you can display cap with it like this which is pretty nice i like that looking at the uh like the little shoulder straps that he has and everything um, again, the paint on it looks a little bit different. I could be wrong though. It's been a while since I've seen the um, cap that I have of this version. It's got a little bit of detail on it. You can see some of the some of the straps, or I'm sorry, some of the the, the paint. You know, the wear in the paint and the um, uh, little details, like little like because it looks like it's leather. You can see like the little like uh, wrinkles in it and all that. And then he's got his other lower belt right here with a lot of stuff, man. He's got a knife. Looks like he might have some smoke bombs or grenades. Bunch of little pouches. Uh, I think this is a canteen right there. Some more pouches over here. And there's the um, the buckle. And uh, it just goes all the way around. I mean, this is a very, very nicely uh, sculpted and detailed and paint painted um, belt. I really love the way this looks. And then uh, that's pretty much it as far as the straps and everything go on the figure. And then you got the hand right here with the red glove. Looks like he might have been he should have been holding like a pistol or something on this hand and he's got the closed fist right here the white arms with the blue on the shoulders and he's got stars on both sides this one's a little different 
like if you move it up it's going to change because of the joint and then the same thing with this one here and they got the star in the front red white and blue and you know the bottom here's the legs and then there's the boots right there you can see the laces so i'm not going to spend much time on this figure because i mean pretty much have seen this guy before just different paint now as far as other accessories he does come with a different head sculpt so you can put this looks like the steve rogers um, head sculpt that we got and I think it was Legends, Returns of Legends um, Wave 1. If you pop that head off, oh come on. Sometimes it's a little tricky to, geez. Sometimes I just wish they would make a lot of these things easier to pop in but you know, why would it right? They gotta make it hard for us but there's um, it's not in all the way, but you get how he's going to look with the outfit on, which looks pretty good. I like it. You know, I can dig it that we get a, a Steve Rogers head sculpt for cap, but um, in the cap outfit, but I like this look too. So if you have the other cap, you have the option to do this. So that's Captain America. Pretty good figure. Um, I guess I'll do the articulation on him really quick. The uh, head, you know, can go up and down. It goes up, you know, the head can go up and down. It rotates. You can, you can kind of tilt it. The uh, arms go in and out, forward and back. It's on a ball joint. It's got double jointed at the elbows, upper leg rotate, upper arm rotation. The wrist can rotate, and uh, nothing in the hands. It's got a good um, range of motion in the ab crunch, rotation at the waist. Legs do go in and out. The uh, other leg is hindered kind of by the belt. Double jointed knees, mid leg, or I'm sorry, upper leg rotation. Lower leg rotation and the foot has the, you know, the ankle pivots, allows it to go up and down, side to side. So pretty good articulation. Can't argue with that. It is a repaint, but it is a well, um, well done figure. So there's Cap. Get him out of the way. Next up, let's look at Miss Marvel. Again, I'm not sure if we've gotten a Miss Marvel figure. You guys can let me know. I really honestly do not remember, but um, get a close up on the head sculpt. Pretty nice looking head sculpt. It's got the black mask painted on, and then the hair is sculpted fairly nice. You can see that right there. It does look pretty good. All the little details in the hair look nice, and it's a, somewhat of a softer material. You can move the hair around to see her ears and everything if you really wanted to. You got the logo right there in the upper, uh, or in the body, and then she's got her little like belt thingy, which is a separate piece, which is pretty cool. Other than that, I mean, she's pretty much just skin and just like painted black as far as like the lower arms go. And the um, the legs and the feet and the the boots and everything it's all just uh, paint there's not really much a lot of like sculpting in the in the outfit or anything but this actually does <coughs> yeah, excuse me guys I have a cough this actually is a pretty nice looking figure um, I didn't really care about it when I when they announced it but now that I have her in hand she turned out to be really really good um, now in the way of her articulation because she doesn't come with any accessories the head can rotate it can go up and down slightly because of the hair arm geez arm is on a ball joint you can get it in and out forward and back bend at the elbow and that's not double jointed also mid mid arm rotation the wrist the hand can rotate and it i don't know if it has a hinge or not yeah it does it has a little hinge there so you can go in and out she has the upper torso rotation and a little yeah she's got a good range of motion as far as the crunch goes legs go in and out forward and back Double jointed at the knees, mid leg rotation, foot can go up and down, and it's got the whole ankle pivot. So she's got a pretty good range of motion, um, or as far as articulation, she's got pretty good articulation. A very nice figure right here. So that's Miss Marvel. Lastly, is <coughs> excuse me, Radioactive Man, and I'm not talking about the one from The Simpsons, but a very very cool figure right here. I just I don't know. I told you guys I'm a sucker for the translucent figures, and the green one looked really cool. Um, so he's pretty much clear all the way around. The head sculpt, again, is um, looks like to be the one from Drax. But it's very nice. I mean, you can see the, the white eyes. I'm not sure if the light's going to be able to pick up a lot of the detail. You can see the ears. He's got his little, like, spandex thing on with the logo on the, um, on the chest. And then his little uh, loincloth, which is a soft material. And then the bottom legs, you got the green, the green boots. And then he's got peg holes. They all have peg holes at the bottom. And he has a peg hole at the at the upper back. So this is obviously a reused um, body mold. But a very nice figure, man. Again, and the only reason why I really like it, I say, I would say is because of um, just the, uh, the translucent figure. But he is a little tall. 
So if I stand up Captain America right here, you can see the height difference in both figures. And the way of his articulation, the arms do go in and out, forward and back, bend at the uh, arm, double jointed, mid arm rotation, wrist can rotate and go in and out. It's got a pretty good ab crunch, goes back far. Rotation at the waist, legs go in and out, forward and back, bend at the knee, double jointed, mid leg rotation, lower leg rotation, and he's got the ankle pivots. So very good articulation there. And of course the head can go up and down and rotate side to side. There you have it guys. Today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Infinite Series 3 pack, Target exclusive, Captain America, Radioactive Man, and Miss Marvel. Now it's uh, if you guys are Marvel Legends fans, you're definitely gonna wanna pick this up. If you guys, I mean there are a lot of them, well the two right, I mean they're pretty, they look like they're like just pretty much like repaints, but I know they use different parts and stuff for um, Radioactive Man. So it's really up to you if you really wanna get this set. It's gonna cost you 50 bucks. Which I guess is okay because Legends are have like, they're like $20 each, so it's about the same. But again, if you guys are Marvel Legends fans, you're definitely going to want to pick this set up. Definitely go uh, check out your local targets. Alright guys, so say hi man, let me know what you guys think of the review. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, share my videos, and like. We'll see you guys later, take care, thanks for watching.